Hey, my little babies. This is a work through of today's warm up, just so that we have access to this. The first one's definitely a challenge question. There's a lot to know and a lot to do. We got a complex figure here. It says the area of triangle GBC. Here's triangle GBC hanging out right here. So the area of that triangle we know is 100 units. Notice they form a right angle here. So if I were to redraw it with the right angle at the bottom, we would have a side of 10 root 2 and an area of 100. I'm going to call this H. So the first thing I'm going to do is the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. We know that the area is 100. And we know that the base is 10 root 2. So we need to solve for the height. So in this case, we would have half of 10 root 2. So 100 would equal 5 root 2 times the height. Divide by 5 root 2. And you would have 20 divided by root 2 as your height. We need to clean that up. That would be 20 root 2 over 2, which is in fact 10 root 2. So this is also 10 root 2. That means that this is a 45, 45, 90. So these corners have to be 45 degrees. Um, this is also 10 root 2 because they labeled these with the tick marks. So we got a lot going on there. If we look a little bit wider, if we broaden our scope, look at this big triangle. This big purple triangle. What are the things that we know? If, that, if this entire distance is 20 root 2, and we know it has to be a 45, 45, 90 at this point, we've got that 90 degree corner here, then these sides would have to be 20 each. There's a lot of ways to get there, but that's what would have to happen. The next thing you do, if you drop a height over here, once you know that's 20, this would have to be 20. And so I'm not going to do the Pythagorean theorem in the video, but there's Pythagorean theorem, this side would have to be 15. That's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. The middle section here would be 15. So the goal, the end goal, is the area of trapezoid BFED. Um, so let's take a look. BFED. BFED is this big boy. So if I go down here and kind of redraw that, we know that the top base is 15. The bottom would go all the way across. 20 plus 30 is 50, and the height would be 20. So the area of a trapezoid is 1 half B1 plus B2 times the height. So the area would be 1 half times 50 plus 15. That would be 65 times the height is 20. Half of 20 is 10 times 65 would be 650. There is more than one way to do this, obviously, but there you go. Find the area of a regular 15 gone. First step every time is you draw a right triangle. You do 360 divided by 30. Why? Because if it's 15 gone, there'd be 30 of them. That means the angle at the 12, the angle at the 12 is top degrees. The perimeter of this shape is 720. You can think of this a few ways, but how many of these sides would it take to fill in this perimeter? And the answer is 30, right? There's 30 of these triangles. Or you could divide by, you could do 720 divided by 15 and then divide by 2, but it's the same thing. We're doing 720 divided by 30, which is 72 divided by 3. This is going to be 24. So you can do the trig. I know that you can, but this is going to end up being 24 over tan 12 when you solve. So... Area equals 1 half times the base times the height. And there would be 30 of them times 30. All right, these numbers are a little bit big. I'm going to go ahead and type it in. I wouldn't make you do something maybe this crazy. I don't know. You could do it. But 24 times 24 times 30 divided by 2 is 8640. Don't forget it's over tan 12. So I'm going to divide by the tangent of 12, and I it says round to the nearest thousandths. So this answer, rounded to the nearest thousandths, is 40,648.004.
That's the final answer because they tell us to round to the nearest thousands. A, B, C, D is equal, sorry, A, B, C is equilateral. It has a circle inscribed in it. The area of the circle is 36 pi. So that's going to be key. So we know that if we're working on the circle, if we're working on the circle, area is pi r squared. So they're saying 36 pi equals pi r squared. The pi's cancel out. R must be 6. So the radius of the circle is 6. Why is that important? Well, look at this. The radius of the circle would be the apothem of the triangle. Might help. Ah! Might help if I draw it this way so you can see it a little bit better. But we know that that's 6. So what I'm going to do is focus on the triangle with an apothem of 6. I'm going to treat it like a regular polygon. You don't have to. There's more than one way to do this. But 360 divided by 6, this would be 60 degrees, making this one 30 with a 6 here. So this would be 6 root 3. That's my 30, 60, 90 rules. So the area would be 1 half times the base times the height. And for a triangle, there would be 6 of them. So 8, um, that'd be, what would that be? 36 times 3, 90 plus 18 would be 108 root 3. All right, so we have 108 root 3. That's the triangle part. What percentage of the triangle is shaded? So the strategy here, um, if I'm solving this, is I the percentage would equal triangle minus circle divided by triangle times 100. So that's going to be triangle 108 root 3 minus circle, which they told us is 36 pi, Divided by triangle, 108 root 3 times 100. Round to the nearest thousands. So hit the fraction key, 108 root 3 minus 36 pi divided by 108 root 3 times 100. Oh, I typed it in wrong. Let me fix that. Times 100. Okay. And I get 39 so the percent shaded would be 39.540 if I'm going to the nearest thousands. In a rhombus, the long diagonal is 44. There's the area. What's the short? Well, area of a rhombus is D1, D2 divided by 2. They're telling us that it's, eight, that it's 484. The long diagonal, 44, times the short diagonal. It doesn't matter which one's which. So 484 equals 22d2. Oh, wait. Times 11. Is it 22? I think so. 484 divided by 22. I'll type it in. It is 22. So d2 would equal 22 when you divide by 22. So the short diagonal is 22. That's all they asked for there. All right, that's it. Fun questions.